In this video, we're going to help you up your knowledge on the anatomy of your pool so you'll be able to brag to all your friends and take good care of your pool at the same time. And if you get something wrong, your friends won't know any better, but your pool will. Now, pool filters are the lungs of the pool that remove dirt and other matter in the water to reduce bacteria and keep the water clean. Sand or glass filters will need to be backwashed every 8 to 10 weeks or depending on the pressure gauge, so be sure to check it regularly. Cartridge filters, on the other hand, need to be cleaned manually every 8 to 10 weeks. It's a good idea to have a spare cartridge so you can swap them out and clean it later. The pool pump is like the heart of a pool. It circulates the water to keep it fresh. Just like a freshwater stream, the more the water moves, the fresher it will be. So you'll need to regularly clean out the hair and lint basket, which catches anything that makes it past the skimmer box. If you don't, you risk reduced or stopped flow of the water, which could damage the equipment and starve the pool of proper circulation and sanitisation. We recommend throwing away the hair and lint residue after cleaning, as it is not salvageable for DIY cat toys or fun toupees. There are a few ways to heat your pool, gas, an inverter or solar power. While a warmer pool makes it nicer to take a dip on those cool days, you need to be careful. The warmer the water, the easier it is for bacteria and germs to grow, so you may need to adjust the run times of your pool pump and sanitizer to accommodate. A skimmer box can be found in almost every pool and is designed to skim or draw the water from the pool's surface and pass it through the pool's filtration system. Ensuring that your pool is at the correct water levels, at least halfway up the skimmer, will ensure the skimmer works most effectively. You'll also need to regularly check and clean the skimmer box of leaves and other debris to make sure it doesn't get blocked or stop the water flow. No skimmer, no swimmer. The control unit is the brains of your pool and controls the pump and sanitisation. While the default out-of-the-box settings will work for your pool, you may need to adjust them to suit your pool's use and environment. The Naked Pools app is a great resource to assist with any adjustments you may need. Attached to the control unit is the oxidizer and ionizer. They work together breaking down the nasties and ensuring that the pool is safe to swim in. The oxidizer tackles organic matter like dust, body oils, sunscreen, and any unspeakable things young kids do in the pool, while the ionizer is for the residual sanitizer that destroys algae and other bacteria. If there's any solids, however, I'm sorry, that'll be in the skimmer. A pH controller is a device that automatically doses small amounts of acid into the pool each day. Your pool might already have one installed. They're designed to make managing a pool easier but you still need to check the water balance on a regular basis. We hope this has given you some better understanding of how your pool works. All pools require some levels of maintenance, so if you can spend 10 to 15 minutes on your pool equipment and water once a week to a fortnight, you'll have an easy to maintain crystal clear pool. Any more questions? Check out our resources on the Naked Pool app or give our team a call. Otherwise, enjoy your crystal clear freshwater pool.